Okay, YouTube, as you can tell, there's a few little changes around here. I'll get to updates. Here before long, as in the vehicle situation, what we have now, what we don't have now, stuff like that. But in the meantime, we're going to do a start up on these two trucks, the 1980 Ford F100 and the new 92 F-150. Yes, that is new. I will get in the, I'll get an in-depth uh, video of it later on. Brake light comes on. It does have brake problems. I, told this story. I blew out a wheel cylinder in the rear brakes and um, now I just have the reservoir capped off so that light will shine from now on. Of course, this was a warm start. It's about 80 degrees out here. Carburetor loads up a little bit. That's why it doesn't idle quite smoothly at startup. Smooths out though as it gets running for a minute. Previous videos, I was talking about how the transmission was uh, shot in this thing. Uh, I've since got it rebuilt. It's better than ever now. Uh, runs good, transmission's good. All it needs now is some uh, suspension work and get the frame straightened, and it'll be a really nice little old truck. And if any of y'all are wondering why I bought that thing, well, it's got a back seat. You know, I got a son on the way, and I don't trust babies in cars. I've been in wrecks in this truck before. I know how strong it is, and I know how you don't really get hurt. That's why I wanted another big old truck. So it looks like this one will run on its own now. So we'll go to the other one. The reason why this one's so quiet now is it's got the. Uh, full exhaust system and the Flowmaster muffler off of that Chevrolet. Oh, y'all know the story on the red and black truck, what kind of setup it's got and all that. Another reason why I got this thing, it, uh, it is a 302, uh, four speed with overdrive, five speed, whatever you want to call it. It's the uh, Mazda overdrive. I bought the same couple of weeks ago and already I've succeeded in blowing the motor. It's got a really bad rod knock on number five, but sometime next week I'm taking it to go put a Jasper rebuilt engine in it. Not surprising, the motor's never been rebuilt, had bad oil pressure, and it's got almost 200, 288,541 miles. So we'll go ahead and pop that in neutral. Clutch safety has been bypassed so I don't have to push the clutch to start it. TPS is all fucked up, that's why it idles that high. too high. That's not that high before. I don't know why it is now. Plug the TPS and it'll idle down. But in the meantime, old paper's still running good. I know y'all ain't seen videos of it lately, so I figured you might want to. So uh, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. I got some shit to do today, but 
someday soon I'll give you an in-depth video of that thing and the brand new fusion and everything else that's around here still. So that's that and I'll catch y'all later.